Some people call it the gauge package. Others call it the in-dash tack. And still others incorrectly call it the SS dash. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about the 1968 through 1976 optional U17 Special Instrumentation Package, which was an extra set of gauges that helped build the sporty image of the Nova. Hey Nova fans, my name is Scott, and I first want to clarify that the U17 package was not part of the Supersport, okay? It was available on any V8 equipped Nova from 68 through 76. So the Special Instrumentation Package included four extra gauges, a tachometer, an ammeter, oil pressure, and water temperature. Now, the tack was placed uh, to the left of the speedometer in the location where the fuel gauge usually is placed. Now, that was to make it easier for the driver to see, but in reality, the gauge that they used was really kind of small and was blocked by the steering wheel most of the time. Okay, so because the tack was where the fuel level gauge was, the fuel level gauge had to be moved. That was placed down on the console with the other three gauges. Now, all these gauges are electrical, so there's a special wiring harness that you need to power them all. And like I said, um, the gauges were located on the console, which means if you wanted the U17 Special Instrumentation Package, you had to order the D55 front compartment floor console as well. And since the floor console wouldn't fit with a bench seat, you also had to order the A51 bucket seats. So when you put it together, just to get a tack in the dash of a Nova, it was a pretty expensive package when you had to order all those other things along with it. Now while the Nova console changed in 1975, the four gauge pod that bolted to the console stayed the same for all those years. It was also almost identical to the 67 through 69 Camaro console gauges, except the Camaro had silver face gauges while the Novas were black. All right, aside from the color change, 67 through 69 Camaro and 68 through 76 Nova pods will physically interchange. The gauge pod for an automatic and manual consoles are also the same. The consoles would change, but you could order the console without the gauge package, and in that case, a block-off plate was used instead of the gauge pod. Now, as I said earlier, the special instrumentation package was only available on V8-equipped Novas, but since there was a few different V8 engines available, this required different tachometers. If you ordered the TAC with a small block, you got a 5,000 redline TAC. If you ordered the package with a uh, L34 350 horsepower big block, you got a tack that had a 5,500 RPM red line. And if you ordered this package with the L78 375 horsepower big block, you got a 6,000 RPM red line tack. Like the console, the instrument cluster also changed slightly in 1975. The fuel gauge and clock became round when they were square in 68 through 74 and the corresponding tack for 75 and 76 also became round. The speedometer went from 120 miles per hour down to 100 miles per hour, unless you had the 9C1 police package where it stayed 120. Okay, so in 1977, the entire instrument cluster got redesigned for the Nova. Gone was the sunrise speedometer, replaced with four round gauges. Now, depending on the optional equipment, those four gauges could be a few different things. Now. Uh, standard across all those packages was the second hole from left to right was an 80 mile hour speedometer. So no matter what package you got, that's where the speedometer was. If you had the standard dash with no options, the first hole was idiot lights arranged in the circle, uh, the speedometer, um, a fuel level gauge was really big in the uh, third hole, and the fourth hole was more idiot lights arranged in a circle. The special instrumentation package for 77 through 79 was U14, not U17, U14. This was a tack, again, where the fuel level gauge used to be. The fuel level gauge was then moved to the first hole at the top and a voltmeter below it. The fourth hole was a water temp gauge at the top and a clock at the bottom. The third option you could get was UF7, fuel econominder gauge. Now, this was basically the exact same thing as the U14, except instead of a tachometer in the third hole, you had a fuel econominder gauge. And basically all that was, was a vacuum gauge. So if you had high vacuum, the gauge would read real high and saying you're getting good fuel economy. If the fuel, uh, or if the vacuum was really low and you had your foot in the gas and you're really gunning it, the, the um, vacuum would drop low and say you're getting uh, poor fuel economy. So it really didn't do a whole lot, but you gotta remember, this was the late 70s and fuel economy was a big deal, so that did sell pretty well. 
Now, because all these gauges could now be fitted in the instrument cluster itself, there was no need for the gauges down on the console, and that was done away with altogether. Now, some people want to install these gauges in their Nova. They didn't have it before. But it's a lot more involved than just a bolt-in. Uh, first of all, the gauges are expensive to find because they didn't make a whole lot of them. Two, they're not really that reliable to begin with. And three, they're kind of hard to read because they are small. Uh, if you want a better option, in my opinion, is to buy a panel made by Autometer. Now, these fit the factory consoles, but it allows you to use um, an Autometer 2-inch electrical or mechanical modern gauge in the place of the old factory electrical ones. This panel even angles them towards the driver. Okay, here's the factory console in a fourth gen Nova. Um, and this is the autometer panel that replaces the factory panel. Now these are mechanical two inch gauges made by autometer. Uh, and they fit this panel really, really nicely. These will fit 68 all the way up through uh, 76 Nova consoles. Now what I have is Autometer's two inch gauges, the volt, water, vacuum, and oil. Now these replace what was electrical gauges in the factory, which was an ammeter, water temperature, then the fuel level gauge, and oil pressure. Now since the um, fuel level gauge is not replaced by the tack, I didn't need to move the fuel level gauge down here, so I replaced it with a vacuum gauge, which is um, very useful for me. Uh, and also, I think uh, oil, I'm sorry, volts is um, a little bit more useful than an ammeter gauge, and it's also easier to install. If you're looking to add a tack to the inside of your Nova, instead of just bolting one to the steering column, I've got a better idea. If you know the company Shiftworks, you know that they make shifter conversions that allow the stock shifter to work with modern 3, 4, and 5-speed automatic transmissions. But they also offer in-dash tachometer conversions that replace the factory clock, or block-off cover if that's what you have, with a 7,000 RPM tech that looks like it's factory installed. Now, they offer it for 63 through 65 Novas and 68 through 76 Novas. For 68 through 76, the in-dash tax replaces the clock on the right side of the instrument cluster, not the fuel level gauge on the left like the factory tack was. It's also a round gauge with a 270 degree sweep that looks like the clock, not the sunrise tack that was only about a 90 degree sweep. However, unlike factory tacks that were V8 only, these tacks will work with four and six cylinder engines. I'll leave links down below in this video to Shiftworks website and the three different tacks that they sell for Novas. Those again are 63 through 65, 68 through 70, and 71 through 72. Now 68 and 70 are slightly different from 71 and 72 because 68 through 70 have greenish numbers where 71 and 72 have white numbers. Now if your dash is not original to your year Nova, check the color first before ordering. Also, I don't know why Shiftwork only lifts up to 72 because 73 and 74 Novas have the exact same instrument cluster as 71 and 72. So these tacks will fit 73 and 74. Also, 75 and 76 Nova clusters are round instead of square. However, these tacks will fit 75 and 76 Novas without any problems. I know this firsthand because I have one in my 76 Nova currently. Now here's a good look at my instrument cluster. As you can see, it's got the 0 to 100 speedometer, which is the sunrise style, fuel level gauge on the left, and on the right you'll see the shift works tack in the hole where the clock used to be. And you can tell it's the clock because the dot is there where the reset button for the clock is. But even though the uh, shift works tack is square for most 68 through 74 Novas, the square tack will fit in the round hole of a 75 through 76 Nova. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click the like button, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, at Nova Resource. Take care, and happy motoring.